What's up everyone? Blu-ray Hunt Tuesday has arrived. The big new release this week is Nobody on 4K and Blu-ray. I'm definitely going for that one as well as career opportunities. Those are my two goals for today. I'm planning on hitting up just one Best Buy and a Target, possibly even FYE. So what are we waiting for? Let's go. Heading into location number one, Best Buy. We're gonna see if they have any Godzilla vs. Kong restock if they have in the line of fire 4K, and hopefully they'll have some nobodies. In the new releases, so we don't have any Godzilla vs. Kong. I'm not seeing nobody either, but we do have some things that weren't here last week. So here is the Sicario Best Buy Steelbook. They actually have a few copies. I'm kind of torn if I wanna pick this up because it's only $21.99 but I did buy the Target version last week. They also have Voyagers here that wasn't available here last week. Still have the Sting, Chaos Walking. We have one Pretty in Pink. They do have three copies of Last Action Hero, but I'm not seeing in the line of fire, but I'm gonna go back to the other section. There is also the Hobbit trilogy. I believe this is the exclusive Steelbook edition, I believe but I'm not into The Hobbit or Lord of the Rings, so I'm personally going to pass on that. We still got some Animal House, Harry Potter, the Saw movies. So over on the other side, there is something. We'll go around the pole. There is something that they do have. They have King Kong for some reason. A bunch of King Kongs, the Peter Jackson version. Limited edition steelbook for $22.99. I actually might pick this one up, even though I do have the FYE, but I don't have this one. The sickness is real. We do have the three film collection, Godzilla vs. Kong, King of the Monsters, and Kong Skull Island for $44.99. I've seen it cheaper at other places, so you might want to hit up Walmart or Target for a little bit cheaper. Still having that Ferris Bueller's Day Off, Tom and Jerry. And we do have the Batman Long Halloween Part 1 Steelbook, as well as the Blu-ray. As I said in my video yesterday, they have the same exact cover. And we have one backdraft. So there are some options, but not the ones that I'm looking for. So I'm going to go to the back section and see if I can find nobody. In the new releases in the back section, I'm seeing absolutely nothing. All I'm seeing Godzilla vs. Kong is the Blu-ray. But that's it. Still no steelbooks, but no worries. I might have ordered it online and that will be featured in a future video. Anyway, we still have Gattaca on 4K, Endangered Species, and Battle, SAS Red Notice, and Kindred from last week. I'm actually not seeing any new titles. <laughs> I put my King Kong right over there. I'm not seeing any new titles from this week. These are all old. I'm not seeing anything that I featured in what's new for blue whatsoever. We do have these Ultraman series and movie combo pack. I don't even know what Ultraman is. I'm kind of confused by this. It seems like they have a new steel book every week or something, but we do have those available. But as I always say, other than that, I'm not seeing anything that is brand new. Everything is weeks old. They do have that Smokey and the Bandit on 4K. That's kind of tempting. Considering there really isn't a lot, it really isn't a lot happening this week, so I'm not sure. I don't know if I want to pull the trigger on Smokey and the Bandit. They do have the Skywalker Saga here, the 4K. Are those all steelbooks or something? I don't know. It's the entire set. They do have that here as well, but I'm not seeing anything new. This is crazy. Oh, Best Buy, are you going to be the loser of the week? It's going to be very unfortunate. So that was extremely disappointing. No new releases, nothing new to look at. I didn't even get that King Kong because I already have it. What's the point? So you know what happens when we're disappointed and we don't find anything? We go to FYE. So we're going to FYE. All right, headed into FYE. Of course, when we come into FYE, we always have to check out the Steelbook section first. So they still do have Animal House, Fast and Furious, all the usual titles, Evil Dead 2, Adam's Family, Annabelle, Apollo 13, etc., etc. I might pull the trigger on Pet Cemetery because I haven't gotten that one. It is a Mondo Steelbook, so I might pick up that one. And actually, good thing I didn't get that King Kong because the FYE is exactly the same cover. It's the exact same thing. So good thing I didn't get that King Kong at Best Buy because that's the one I have. I forgot what it looked like. 
So yeah, I might pull the trigger on Pet Cemetery, but I'm going to look around to see what I can find. And apparently I have company because there's Jason Voorhees. They do have this used Blu-ray, buy two, get one for a dollar. You really can't beat that. And this is where I get a lot of my regular Blu-rays from. So they have the 33, Battlestar Galactica, The Runner, I think that's with Nicolas Cage. I've never heard of that one. Ferdinand, Transformers, The Huntsman Winter's War, I already have that one. The Boss, I have that one. BFG. There's just a variety of titles that you can find in the discount bin. That's why I always like to peruse in here. Trainwreck, got a lot of Amy Schumer in here. Whisko Tang Ta Whiskey Tango Foxtrot, there we go. I have that on DVD, but not on Blu-ray. I'm not sure if there's anything else I want in this bin though to upgrade. But yeah, you can always find a lot of good stuff in the discount bin. So I figure I'd quick show you guys. Ooh, Reservoir Dogs, I already had that twice though. Just show you guys to see what you can find in the discount bin, FYE, don't be scared to go. Oh, here we go. That's a treasure. I know who killed me with Lindsay Lohan. Oh, God. <laughs> Babe, Seabiscuit, Joy. Lots of good titles. How to be single. Walking Dead. The Incredible Wor Burt Wonderstone. That's actually a really funny movie if you guys have never seen it. Tons of stuff. So that's some things that I have at my FYE bin. Let me know in the comments what you guys have in yours, but I'm gonna continue looking to see if I can find anything. I just quickly wanted to show you what they do have for the collector's edition kind of corner that they have over here. These movies, I guess, are very collectible, shout selection titles, hard to find stuff, and they're a little bit more on the expensive side, but if you are a collector, then you might wanna pick these up. They have American Me, Big Trouble in Little China, Biloxi Blues, Born in East LA, Four Weddings and a Funeral. I actually like that, that cover. I think it's <laughs> it's really funny. Uh, Endless Love, Cobra, Home something. What is this one? Homeboy. Homeboy with Mickey Rourke. I've actually never heard of that title. The Harder They Beep. <laughs> Starman. Single White Female, Rock and Roll High School, The Poison Ivy Collection. All of you guys know that you want that in your collection. Valley Girl, I'm actually digging that slipcover. I think it's really cool, so I'm considering picking that one up. Very Bad Things and Vice Squad. So this is kind of the collection corner over here at my local FYE. Now do you guys understand why I have such a collecting problem? Because this is the Blu-ray aisle at my local well, not local, but the FYE that I go to, plus the other side. There are so many selections. They have DVD, they have Blu-ray. I know a lot of you don't have a well-stocked FYE, I've heard by some people, but it is possible. This one is mine. You have to dig through these piles because there's a lot to go through. I've already dug through the piles and I've made my selections of what, I, of what I'm getting this trip, and trust me, there is a lot as always, but some of these deals are really, 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 I mean, you just can't beat them. I mean, $3.94, $6.99 for Blu-rays. And sometimes you can find really old titles that you didn't even know you wanted. You didn't even know that you were looking for, but you just come across them and you're like, yes, I have to have this. So you just gotta dig, you gotta dig through. And sometimes I spend an hour hour and a half in here sometimes digging through these titles but trust me it's worth it because sometimes you can find some really great stuff and this is a way to bulk up your collection for a really reasonable price best buy i am highly disappointed in you yet again last week no godzilla versus kong steel books and this week no, absolutely no new releases except for Batman The Long Halloween Part 1. That is the only new release you had. What is going on? And of course then I have to go to FYE and what happens? I come out with a bag. I always come out with a bag. The sickness is real. But I'm still on the search for nobody and career opportunities. I'm headed over to the Target right now, so cross your fingers that I find something. All right, here we go. We're going into Target. We're going into Target.
in the new releases at Target. Now we got some new releases. Okay, so we have Nobody, which I will be picking up today. This isn't my usual Target that I normally go to. I'm not really sure if I want to go to another one, so I'm probably going to pick this one up here. We also have the Unholy. We also have Siberia. I might pick this one up too because it's only $14.99. It has Willem Dafoe. He's extremely talented. He doesn't do garbage, so I'm thinking I might pick up Siberia. They do still have Voyagers, the Sicario Steelbook from last week, and also new releases from previous weeks, but ah, this is what I've been looking for. They also have Batman The Long Halloween on Blu-ray, and they still have some Godzilla vs. Kongs on 4K and on Blu-ray. Now comes the moment in every Blu-ray hunter's life where you gotta make a choice of what you wanna do. So I rounded the corner to this end cap, all these old school movies. This is usually where the steelbooks have been being kept, but now they have some collectors. I already have When Harry Met Sally, but I do not have Mr. Mom. It is a collector's edition, but it's $22.99. It is a shout selection title. It's the only one here. Do I get it? Do I get it? Do I get it? Over in the regular Blu-ray section, we still got some steelbooks, but they're the same steelbooks we've been seeing week after week. We still have a ton of the T2 Total Recall Lenticular Slipcover Steelbook. I love this. I think it's absolutely amazing. One of the best that they have put out. So that is awesome. We do have some sales going on over here. We just have Raiders celebrating 40 years, I believe, for only $14.99. So that's actually a pretty good deal. As well as Greenland is only $14.99. What else do we have? Batman Soul of the Dragons, $14.99. Above Suspicion, I believe, is still at $16.99. I think that was the original price, but we do have some deals. Some deals are out there. That Megan Fox movie Rogue is only $10 if you want to pick up that. But other than that, nothing really new that I can see. So maybe I will stop off at my regular Target location and see if they have career opportunities over there. Well, I can officially say that Best Buy is the loser of the week because at least Target did have new titles in stock. I'm sure you're all wondering, did I pick up that Mr. Mom Blu-ray? You're going to have to wait until the very end because we're not done yet. I've decided to hit up Target location number two because I'm just curious to see if they do have career opportunities. They probably don't which is a shame because the movie takes place inside of a Target. Very missed opportunity if it is not there, but we're gonna go and see what they got. All right, let's do this again. We're going into Target. We're going into Target. In Target location number two, we have the same titles that we had at the first stop, Batman The Long Halloween Part One, Godzilla vs. Kong, 4K and Blu-ray, the three film collection, we do have the Umbrella Academy Season 1, however, I will say that they have the Blu-ray at FYE because the employee was unpacking it when I was there, just to let you know. They have Nobody, The Unholy, Siberia, Rock Dog Part 2, if you're looking for that. They still have Your Honor from last week, Voyagers, and the Sicario Steelbook, and everything else. So, I'm going to pack it up because I'm actually glad they don't have anything else because... I spent a lot of money today. It's official that Best Buy is indeed our loser of the week with only one new title available, whereas Target had many to select from, except for the most important one, Career Opportunities, because that movie actually takes place inside of a Target. Target, what are you doing? This could have been major advertising for you, but you didn't do that. You don't have it in your store. I guess I'm just gonna have to order it online. Oh well, if I have to, I have to, but let's get into what I got today. Even though there wasn't a lot to choose from, of course, I got a bag full of stuff from FYE and three titles from Target. Starting with Nobody, with the slipcover, I might add. I wasn't sure if this was going to come with a slipcover, but it does. Now, Nobody was not available on 4K, so I'm thinking it's going to be in Best Buy in 4K format in the coming weeks, but it was not there today. Hopefully, that'll come with a slipcover. If this has a slip, then hopefully that 4K will have one, but I did get it on Blu-ray. I'm fine with the Blu-ray. 4K is just a bonus. By the way, if you did not see in the video yesterday, I mentioned 
I have a 4K player now, so I can play my Indiana Jones collection. And now all of a sudden it's raining cats and dogs. So if you hear that, that's the rain. Moving on to Siberia. I did indeed pick this up. I like the cover, the slip cover again, blue and white. It's pretty sharp looking. I like Willem Dafoe, extremely talented, not recognized enough though. He needs an award of some kind someday soon because he's so extremely talented. This was only $14.99. I decided why not? I'm going to pick it up. Why not? Yes, you knew it was going to happen. You knew it was going to happen. However, I picked this up in one location, no slip cover. I come to this location, it's got a slip cover. So the big question is, do I bring this back and return it in exchange for the slip cover? You guys are probably going to say yes. I don't know. I think it's kind of a hassle. Should I do it? Should I get the slip cover? Let me know down below. All right, let's move on to what I got at FYE. Woo, big pile here, starting with Valley Girl. You saw this in the, dis in the display down at the bottom of the collector's editions. I don't know, there's just something about this slip cover. I gravitated towards it. Yes, it's a little bit on the expensive side. I normally would not pull the trigger for something like this, but today, I guess I was just in the mood. I don't know, I really like how this looks. It's just fun, and I've never seen this, so this will be a never seen it for me. Blood Diamond, expanding on that Leo DiCaprio collection. I cannot pass it up for $6.99, I think. $6.99, that's one great deal. So when I saw that right in front of me, I decided to get it. Yes, I picked up Skyscraper. I've seen it before. It's only $5.99. I like action movies, leave me alone. The Terminator. Why did I do that with an English accent? I have no idea. $6.99, now yes, I do already have the Terminator, but it's in a double pack with Terminator Genesis. I want it solo. I want it by itself, it's deserving, but we need that 4K. Where is the regular Terminator 4K? That's what we really need. But until that comes, I will take this in the meantime. Plus it's cool, it's got a cool cover, I like that. All the right moves with Tom Cruise. I've never seen this. I'm not a huge Tom Cruise fan, but I figure older movies, kind of a, more of like a classic, I would pick it up. And at only $6.99, you really can't beat that. I was really scoring some great stuff at FYE today, I do have to say. Bonnie and Clyde, more expensive at $14.99, but you never see this out. It's got Warren Beatty, Faye Dunaway, I've never seen this before. Classic movie, so I figure I might as well add it in. Then we have The Bone Collector. This is an old one. Very early in Angelina Jolie's career for $6.99 with Denzel and her. I like this movie. It's not bad. It's a thriller. Kind of like keeps you on the edge of your seat. Keeps you guessing kind of movie. So why not? I like psychological stuff. Might as well put that in there. Perks of being a wallflower, I've never seen it, but for the price, it was cheap cheap enough at $5.94, so let's say six bucks, I decided to pick it up. Last but not least, surprisingly enough, another Tom Cruise movie, Rain Man. It did win Best Picture. I should have award season Blu-rays in my collection, so I decided to pick it up. $4.95, so five bucks. Five bucks for Rain Man, you really can't go wrong. Is that enough? That is everything I got on my Blu-ray trip out today. But the big question is, what did you find when you went out today? Did you find nobody on 4K with the slipcover? Did you find In the Line of Fire 4K from last week? I'm really curious. Don't forget to like and subscribe down below. And I'll see you next time.